Hello and welcome to Tech for Moms weekly vlog. Uh, last week, my daughter was supposed to star in uh, a vlog about uh, her and her video games, but unfortunately, she got um, bad marks in school, so she was grounded from video games for the weekend. So. She, unfortunately, she wasn't able to show you um, how well she does at her video games. Uh, this week, though, we are talking about uh, Windows Media Center and the Zune software. Uh, I've been explaining a lot of it on the on the blog this week, and I really wanted to dig in and ex show you exactly how awesome it works. So uh, we're going to go ahead and dig right in. This is the Zune software. This what is what comes up uh, as soon as you start it up. Um, you'll notice I'm signed in with my Zune account right here and then right here we'll have anything that I've pinned <laughs> and pinning oh, yeah. is really easy to do so um, say I want to pin this album you just right click on it and you pin it to quick play and then it's going to be right here until you remove it from the quick play um, so this just gives you quick easy access to exactly what you want uh, so if I want my poison playlist, then we'll put that there. So then we go ahead and click on the poison playlist, and it brings up the first poison um, CD that I have in the playlist. Now what it's bringing up here is also called Mix View. I explained a little bit about that on the blog. Uh, what uh, is featured around the album that's playing is uh, related artists and albums. So Firehouse is a related album, has a similar sound, a similar genre. Um, Hanoi, Rock, Hanoi Rocks influenced Poison, so the artist, um, the group Poison said that this band is one of their influences. And you know, if you keep going around here, um, White Snake, a related album. Um, Def Leppard, a related artist over here. Um, Atello is influenced by Poison. So you can see it's kind of maybe a newer group because they were influenced by Poison. So we can click on them and start streaming their music right away. Or we can learn more about Atello. I can see their album. We can uh, stream the song just by clicking on it and it'll start streaming the song right away or we can download the song into our collection um, just um, just by clicking on it. Uh, of course I'm getting an error right now. Um, but then you can see in here, if we go into like the collection, um, I like to go by artists. So I've got all of the artists down here. I can click on this and it'll have all the albums that I have of theirs. Um, uh, let's find one that I've got a lot of up. Christina Aguilera, one of my favorite artists, so you can see I have a lot of her albums. Over here on the right will show all of the songs that are on all of these albums, which I really like because sometimes I don't know which song goes to which album. Um, so then, uh, if we want to go back over to the marketplace and search for Christina Aguilera. It's going to bring up everything that I have in my collection that is Christina Aguilera and bring up the different artists over here. So we'll click on, that's the one we wanted, Christina Aguilera. Has the top songs, um, top playlists that she's in. Um, and then you can just click on different albums. Um, you know, Bionic. Um, Deluxe Edition, yeah, so this is the album that I have, so you can see that it's already in my collection. Uh, but the edited version is right here for download. Um, so you see it's really integrated into what I already have, and I really enjoy that aspect of it. Um, device, we've got, this is my Zoom, I can start syncing here. Um, all my podcasts that I'm subscribed to. Uh, this is a great one to subscribe to, Geekbeat TV. I love her. It's really quick and um, has kind of all the latest in the geek uh, geek world. Strong Bad Emails, Dave Ramsey. Uh, those are just a few of my podcasts. And then channels are really great. They update every week um, with different items. And 
Um, if I click on it. Oh, because this is on my device. Anyway, uh, channels are really great, um, great way to find different items. Um, so, like Cardio Pop, sixty minutes. Going to have sixty minutes of um, pop songs that are um, upbeat, so you can really um, get into your workout. Uh, you can save this as a playlist, um, and this is just okay. So this one's updated monthly, so you're going to have the same playlist. Um, for the whole month, and then in a month, that it's going to change the songs, and you'll have a whole new, um, a new playlist that you can work out to. So I really, really love the Zune software. Um, the streaming is awesome. I can never get uh, what I like out of a song from just 60 seconds. So um, that is the uh, a brief overview of the Zune software. Uh, over here, we've got the um, Windows Media Center. Uh, and like I said before, you can go into Netflix, and this is our instant queue. Um, you can see your recently watched. You can see um, D your DVD queue. You can add things to either your instant queue or your DVD queue. Um, it's really interactive. I love um, how easy it is to just find the different songs, or not songs. I'm sorry, the movies. So. can search. You can select if you want to search just streaming or just the DVD. So you can take a look at that, add it to your list right away, add all to DVD queue. It's just really um, interactive and um, I really like the way the Netflix works with the Windows Media Center. Now if you don't have that in your Windows Media Center, really easy to add. If you go into tasks and then settings, uh, and then into general, you are going to see automatic download options. And then you're going to just go ahead and click download now. When you reboot after it downloads, um, you'll have the different the Netflix options and the internet TV option to install. Um, so here's this internet TV, which I also really enjoyed. Um, right now, it's got a limited number of channels. Um, so it's it's going to get there, but right now it's not all the way there. I also heard online that you can add Hulu to Windows Media Center. I have not played around with that yet. It might be uh, for another blog post. Anyway, so you can see full episodes down here. Um, check out different items of what you want to see in the different channels. Um, I just love the user interface. I think it's really intuitive. and. Um, and dynamic to look at. So that there we have it. We've got uh, awesome software, Zune software free from Zune.net, and the Windows Media Center um, available with Vista or Windows 7 Home Premium or um, or Ultimate. Um, also, the Business Edition has them. But uh, I definitely recommend checking both of them out. So see you next week.